Hello and welcome. So in today's video, we are going to start a brand new series that is CYSA Plus. And this series is all about my coursework labs for CYSA Plus. Today's video is going to be analyzing output from network security monitoring tools. This is a visual lab from InfoSec Learning. Let's get started. I hadn't thought about this. I thought maybe it's gonna be faster. I'm gonna pause the video here, wait for the environment to load. All right, so I believe I have something here. There's a machine or whatever. Clicking on it, loaded the, oh, another window, okay. No idea what's going on, but let's click next. Okay. Open the first picture capture file Warshark interface. So that will be this, and we have a problem. Our settings versus. I need to fix this. drag it in here come on this is frustrating okay We bring it here. All right, I can say I made it work to some extent. On your host computer, use the start menu. That will be this or Wireshark. We're gonna launch the Wireshark. <coughs> Let's see, remind me later. And we can go for open pcaps. So file open, and hopefully pcaps is somewhere in. Hmm. Do I have to go look for it? C CompTIA Labs lab files pcaps. C CompTIA Labs, Lab Files, Hopeware, and PCAPs right there. And open it. PCAP one dot PCAP NG. <clears throat> three Warshark panes. So the three panes are, or pans are one, two, and three. So basically, this is everything. This is individual, and these are the values of each line. It says the top pan contains a list of each frame captured in that session and some summary information. So I very top one everything captured bottom pan displays a hexadecimal readout of the contents of the selected packet with 16 byte in each line so middle pane is about field by field interpretation now 60 bytes capture 40 bits or transmission can or TCP for this data 443 so it was this SSL or TLS <clears throat> still looking at packet one what is the source of destination or IP address of this packet 
Now what we're going to do is still looking at packet 1. That is going to be 1 is this, right? You select it. <clears throat> so it says, still looking at what is the source and destination IP address. Now I want to say the source is SRC is 10 and destination is 103952. Challenge one, we go, oops, I hate it. I wish it was like in one screen. Uh, let me pause it here and see what I can do. I believe I can't do anything right now. I can only, okay, 10.39.5.6, 10.39.5.6. Let's submit it. I was right. Now it's 10.39.5.2. 10.39.5.2. And I was right. Let's go. In the middle pane, expand the transmission control protocol section. Middle pane is this one. This is the TCP. We expand it. The port numbers and flags are also displayed in the info column in the top pane in brackets. What is the destination port? 443. <clears throat> yep, that was right. 443 was right here. It says that over here, it's, it's in the, where is it saying? Info column in the top pane, info 443, but it's not in the brackets. Oh, flags are indicated. Okay, flag is saying an axe and that's it. What flags are set for this packet? Send SYN. Now, one thing you can see over here, these axes, they tells how many uh, how long the answer they are looking <clears throat> uh, we can go back to it but I will show you in the next one alright so challenge 4 is done let's go next round rather than scrolling rather than scrolling through each frame in the capture you can use Wireshark analysis tools to be a summary of the protocol and midpoint that were involved in the SNF network communication select analyze so we can click on menu select analyze expert information analyze expert information am i in the right one yeah all the way back at the bottom i If you want, you can read this passage. <clears throat> RST. right from the menu select statistics portable hierarchy TCP packets. What do you think it is? Two zero TCP packets. TCP. 
2089 <clears throat> yep i transmission control protocol tcp packets 2089 from the menu selects oh sorry Statistics, capture file properties. Challenge number some. What is the date of the first packet? Twenty fifth April two thousand sixteen. It should be due because they they're saying month month. All right, so let's get started. Uh, keep going. From the menu, select Statistics Conversations. I, I hate it with the way it's going out of. How many internet conversations are listed within the capture file? Ethernet tab conversation one. TCP tab. <clears throat> Ten sixty one. Okay, nice. <clears throat> Conversation window, let's close it. And right click packet one, select follow TCP stream. Now follow TCP stream. <clears throat> then you look at just one session. let's close it <clears throat> so now we have three flags of these three packets so flags are these sense and re reset The first packet info tab red cross button on the fire filter bar. <clears throat> so red cross button is this one right nope probably not Click on this one. OK. 
Okay, I'm not doing something right. Oh, it must be this one. Now it says go to 42. Select packet 42. This one. Look at the summary of packet 42 and 43. So, where is the summary? 42. Double click it. So and forty. What did the attacker do in this case? No idea. I mean, don't know if I'm looking at the right thing. Forty-two. Looking at the summary of packet forty-two and forty-three. Let's go to forty-three. Reset. So let me look into it. All right, so I can't answer these two questions. Uh, trying to discover, I am not sure what he was trying to discover. It simply gives the port and destination in the second uh, it got switched with the axe so there is a sequence number added internet protocol version source is 5256 56 to 52 so it seems like it's a communication between two endpoints an attacker what he can do maybe be a man in the middle I'm not sure I can't answer these two questions uh, but my lab is complete. I can stop and get full credit or I can go for uh, the other two files we've seen. Uh, it's been a long day. I'm gonna call it and go. Uh, I already passed the the other class today and I was just giving it a head start. I will be uh, starting this uh, all over again tomorrow hopefully this video has helped you if it has please rate comment subscribe and share and i see you in the next one